So I'd like to talk about this new game called 20 Minutes Till Dawn. Great game. It's fun. I put a lot of hours into it already. But it has a serious, kind of serious problem. Um, obviously, if you're using runes, you're going to be a lot more powerful. You're going to have a really good time playing the game. Um, you're going to have, you know, more convenient gameplay. But it comes at a cost. So the cost in this case is... Um, you're only going you're going to be a one trick pony if you want to win uh i'll say effectively or easily so obviously you could choose between damage or or fire rate either one's fine who cares um all of these are like who really cares um as well but you got some stuff that's like really op so first off cadence even that rank one literally changes runs it makes your third shot infinitely piercing and double the size which means that 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 alone is insane but then every rank gives you 20 percent extra damage this could give you 100 percent extra damage you could literally one shot stuff with the starter pistol instantly third shot one shot everything that it hits that's crazy and like it's only competition is if you have only one summon, your summon deals up to 50% more damage and attack speed, which I think is only good if you're using the dagger. But then it's not really that good because all you have in the upgrade tree is dagger plus dagger boost. Um, I don't know, like the, or maybe dragon, which we're talking about in this video. And then obviously you have blessing, which is insanely overpowered. And the only thing is like, it starts you with an item, which is crazy. And the only thing you're it's comp like competing with, and that's like the loosest term I could come up with, is healing one HP for every what? <laughs> Not even like an insane amount of uh, kills, or um, being invincible for five seconds, only once. Now, I don't know how you can get five ranks of being invincible for five seconds. That only happens once. I don't understand that. But yeah, those are like that's the only competition. Versus having one free hit that regenerates and making it regenerate faster at the same time. Those are insane. So, those are broken. And now, to, just to show this, just to show this, I'm going to show a run. And it's not even going to be like, oh, we went with the best run. I'm going to show a run with a random character and a random gun. And just say boom it's easy and we're going to be doing it on darkness 7 which um i haven't i haven't beat yet but we're going to beat it because chances are we're going to get dragon egg then we're going to get dragon egg boost one and two and then we're going to get the thing that makes it so that it makes our damage better by 10 percent. and then we're going to steamroll through the entire game and it'll be easy so let's uh let's do a really quick number generator uh Let's not do Shauna just because Shauna's OP. So we got five. One, two. We'll go with Spark. And then we'll do it one more time. We got three. We'll go with the Crossbow. Crossbow did get buffed recently. Um, but like I said, like literally OP. So OP. All right. And the Crossbow has a bug. If you're trying to do the um, don't take dam uh, don't shoot at all, um, if you're in a menu and you click at all, you're gonna shoot your crossbow and then reload. So just uh, just a warning right there. Obviously, the infinitely piercing doesn't help very much, but the 20% damage boost is pretty nice. So here we're gonna go with um, probably Ghosty Boy because summons are really really strong in this game. People. Um, People were saying in some people's streams that summons weren't very good, but summons literally make up so much of your damage because they just replace the need for you to exist. Um, we have a bow, as you can, like, I just shot, if you heard that. I just shot and started reloading. Um, I think we're gonna go with reload rate just because we're using the crossbow and we only have one shot. Just get, basically at the beginning, the name of the game is just get as high level as possible. So that we can hopefully, like as soon as possible I mean. Um, so that we can hopefully get the dragon as soon as possible and start scaling the dragon. 
because that's literally all you need to do to win is scale the dragon and don't get hit forehead obviously if you don't get hit like you're more likely to win but you do need to be able to kill stuff all right so we're gonna boost our summon damage the ghost is very good for that because he boosts all of your summons which is very convenient we don't even have to get a single synergy I could choose to get zero synergies and we'd still probably win off of oh I messed up it's fine everything's fine we're gonna move move speed just so that we can pick up this XP a bit faster again we have a minute until or almost two minutes until our foe arrives and look at it we're level five and it's been a minute and a half I'm just saying level five and it's been a minute and a half being able to move faster, picking up XP, and being able to get more XP just off of playing the game a little bit is kind of OP. I'm just saying. Like, especially what it's up against. So we got Egg. And now that we have Egg, we're literally just going to go for the Egg. Like, go for any Egg upgrade that we could possibly do. And that's it. That's all we need to do. If there was a chance for us to go for the Risky play and go for Triple Egg... Uh, I would I would take it 100%. But the problem is you don't know if you're going to be getting uh, an egg on your next upgrade. If you were Shauna, and you knew for a fact that you could possibly get triple egg as well as... <laughs> we're, we're in a risky situation here. I think we gained our shield back and then lost it again. I'm not entirely sure. Because we pushed everyone back there. Um, but yeah, if you were Shauna, you could definitely go for it. And you could get some serious boosts, but you you literally only need one dragon. And I'm proving that. I'm proving that right now. So I'm probably going to skip to the first guy. Just so that the video isn't 20 minutes long. Or more than 20 minutes long, because we're looking at items. Um, here, I would say we go with dagger. Because dagger will increase our damage output for our dragon. Because it gives us a 40% damage upgrade as one of its upgrades. Full charge, just so that we kill everything down there. All right, first eight damage every every minute. So we're looking at the clock. We're getting it every twenty sec, uh, every uh, every twenty on the board, which is very good. Um, and we also have a chance to get seventeen damage upgrades before the end of the game, which is insane to think about. Like we're gonna get seventeen times eight. That's an insane amount of damage just for picking up one upgrade early on. When we don't even have the dragon up, like out of his shell yet. Uh, we're going to go for armed and ready here. Because we want more ammo. Because this thing can rapid fire. It has like infinite fire rate. Because you charge up the shots. And the charging up of the shots is the fire rate. So like the faster your fire rate. The more, the, the faster you can charge your shots. But for some reason you can just lose char uncharged shots instantly. And they deal base damage. Which is 20. <laughs> So, yeah. It doesn't help that you start reloading after every shot now. I don't know if it's a bug or intended. But yeah, you start reloading every, every single shot. Unless you're not... Like, if you're not holding down click. Okay, so we got Electro Affinity, which is pretty good. I realized that Shauna is the only one that gets the triple upgrade and trip, uh, more XP and other things. But... This is totally fine. Bullet damage reduced, but lightning damage increased, okay? You pretty much always want to take any upgrade you can get. So here's where like people will mess up. You'll be like, ooh, 40% damage right now? That's insane. Our dragon's about to hatch. We're gonna get so much more damage. No, 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 you go for attack speed. We wanna get all 16 upgrades here. Again, if we were Shanna, we could totally get um, 18 upgrades on both because of the reroll. The reroll rates are very biased towards dragon, it feels. I think it's just me, but like they're very biased. Every single run, I'm getting it before I hit 17 minutes. All three upgrades. But you notice how like we haven't really gotten any like flat we are we are stronger upgrades yet. Like, this is probably the first flat we are stronger upgrade that I've gotten, where we do double damage, but we do reduce our damage by 10%. Um, or we shoot twice as many bullets, but we reduce the bullet damage by 10%. Um, that's the first, like, 
we do more damage uh, upgrade that I've gotten. And we're still destroying stuff. You know, we don't we don't even have our main damage dealer out of the egg yet. He just got out of the egg right now. And we're just about to fight our first boss at level 13. We might be able to get up to 14. Um, we want to get the damage, but we don't need it yet. We know we're going to be able to get it. We want to get the movement speed because we want to be able to survive while shooting, especially with this gun. We got to think about the gun we're using. Again, you could be using the dualies because they're so OP, or you could be using a status gun or the summon gun. The summon gun is really good because it scales with your summon damage and you can actually uh, basically damage glitch uh, by reducing your base damage and increasing summon damage with one of the books because um, it increases the summon damage by the same amount that you're decreasing your damage but if you look we're going to be doing this insta kill 20 seconds 20 second kill just saying and all we've done so far is uh <laughs> is go with a random gun and go with a random character and choose dragon and we're on seven ascension seven we're halfway through the ascension all right, I'm going to go with the bullet behind us just so that we get some more shots out there because it is a little bit scary having no shots. I will admit, having no shots is scary. I'm definitely used to using the dualies because the dualies just, they lay waste. They lay absolute waste. I was trying out the new weapons. Um, I guess not really the new weapons, just the new weapon because I don't think they changed anything about the fire gun. Even though I think the patch said that they did. Alright, we can go get our upgrade now. Remember, always take your books, always take your chests. Even if it's garbage, take it. The only time that you don't want to take one is when it's your last one. And it's the Shauna Halo, and you don't want it. Um, because you could get the Halo piece upgrade twice. It could just say, hey, you want this? No, you don't want it? Okay, maybe you want it now. <laughs> and it's like, no, I didn't want that ever, sorry. All right, so here's one of those chances where it's like, oof, we didn't get the uh, the summon book, but we could just get element book, reduce our damage by 50%, but increase our burn lightning damage by 35 and freeze duration by 35, okay? This just increases our damage because status effects and and our, uh, our dragon here are so OP. We don't need this yet. We're going to go with attack speed just so our dragon is buffed by 50%. Um, this is a little bit of short term just to make sure we can get through this horde because after the first boss you start getting the hordes of the uh the cthulhus and you kind of got to start dealing with it of course we got a little bit of bullet hell going on here but that's perfectly fine um so yeah like I'll, i'm just gonna cut to uh <laughs> i'm just gonna skip to where we're fighting the the second the second boss be, uh, the second elite sorry it would be nice if the ascension modes increased the amount of enemies that you got. I know that seems like, oh, but you're making the runs easier. But you could make it so that you get insane enemies early on. Like, imagine in like changing the time frame so that you have no time between the elites. You'd get a bunch of upgrades if you could kill them, but you have to kill them. Like, it'd be so good. We're getting status effects here. We just entered the 10 minute mark so we're halfway through the run already we're at level 23 and like i said like if we were playing shanna we could have the 40 percent xp boost if we were cherry picking our runs i'm just saying we could have 40 percent more xp here and we would have even more cherry picking of our uh of our abilities too so we'd have an even stronger dragon but our dragon right now he's doing 142 damage like that's not something to scoff at. He's doing some serious work. And right now I'm just spamming my left click because I have on reload summon icicles. Um, so I'm just making sure to do that as often as possible. I don't think it's actually working. Unless the icicles are going all over the place. I don't see them. <laughs> They're not working. Um, so here's where I would just start to go for um, pretty much whatever I want. We've gotten a decent amount of stuff, as you can see. We have like we have a decent amount of items. I mean, we got 24 level ups as well as the freebie and the book. Um, but yeah, we could start going for a synergy now. Um, the only thing I don't like about the synergy menu is that it doesn't show you um, 
the pictures of the items that you need to be getting for the synergies. But other than that, the synergy menu is perfectly fine by, in my eyes. Um, one thing we haven't gotten yet is the our bullets deal more damage because of our dragon. So we could be dealing even more bonus damage. But pretty much all we need to be going for right now is increasing our um, status effect buildup. Because status effects plus the dragon are the two most overpowered things in the game. Because first of all, you don't need to do fire at all because you have the dragon. The dragon breathes fire. Duh. Um, and then all you need is the ice, but you need two upgrades for the ice. You need the left upgrade and the bottom upgrade. Because those two upgrades make it so that the ice literally shred everything. It does 15% because they nerfed it. It used to do 25%. It used to be really OP. Um, but now it does 15% damage. Plus, um, sorry, max health damage. 15% max HP damage. I just want to say that again. That's a lot of damage. Like, insane amounts of damage. Um, plus, 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 plus. Obviously it does less to elites and bosses. But that's just expected. Uh, we should be able to kill him here. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Um, plus, you're also dealing... But see, I'm just, like, casual. Like, this is so casual. Lightning strikes also burn for 3 seconds, which is insane. Because we want to be getting the buff. Like, that's where we want to get the buff where lightning explodes when it uh, when it hits somebody. Which means we'd have to get the lightning, but we're going to be getting the lightning because it gives us a summon. As you can see, Electro Bug is a summon. So his lightning will do bonus damage because, <laughs> because he's a summon. Uh, but we want to get our bonus damage for us right now because we want to finish off this skill tree. Finishing off skill trees is actually a really good thing in this game because I f I feel like, I know it's a lot of me feeling like, but it feels like they try to prioritize giving you, um, just giving you things that are upgrades. So they don't want to give you a whole bunch of, like, they're never going to, it feels like they're never going to give you five bases, um, base upgrades and nothing else. Uh, they're, they seem to always want to give you at least one thing that you've been working on to try and finish off a skill tree or get a skill tree more honed out. Um, like a lot of times I'll have my first upgrade with the holy shield be, hey, you want to upgrade your holy shield so you do 25% more move speed when you have it out? It's like, um, I, I don't really need that right now, but I guess. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we're doing insane insane amounts of damage obviously our attacks aren't doing damage they're summoning other effects um, and that's the main thing to think about like we're not getting power shot we don't care about power shot the only time i got power shot intentionally okay other than just like uh, i have no other good ones oh, okay apparently i didn't get ice shard yet the only time i got power shot intentionally was when i wanted to get reaper rounds so i could get death rounds so i could end a run at one hp for that achievement literally that's all i got it for but what we want to be doing here is we want to be going for probably vision the reason why vision is actually really good is the upgrade that lets us get status effects on our vision is just it is brutal it's it's absolutely brutal it does insane amounts of damage later on because you got to think if something gets close to you like right now we're like we're in a horde right now there's guys all around us and anyone near us is taking damage from being near us and then think about oh they could also be getting status effects from being near us and with a 50 and 35 percent chance to give a status effect that's like that's really good honestly those are like really good odds so here we got our boss coming up in 40 seconds and we're not even like sweating we're not sweating i'm, I'm perfectly fine i'm feeling perfectly fine we're just gonna walk right into this horde dealing tons of damage not even caring we still have our shield who really cares we want to get as much H uh, xp as possible glare doubled not really that good um probably gonna go for um the ice shard just so that we have a higher chance that if it gives us the ice that we get shatter i have noticed re like very commonly elements and dagger will never give you the upgrade you want until you take all the upgrades so dagger like where you want the left upgrade for the 40 percent damage it rarely gives that to me before it I, gives me the right and the bottom one whereas the ice it rarely gives me the bottom one before i even take the ice shard so it's like take ice shard i dare you and it's like okay i guess i will 
But yeah, here's where it's like... We're starting to do so much damage that it doesn't even really matter that I'm not charging up my crossbow bolts. Um, getting that ice proc is like good enough. As well as the dragon just being really strong. And you gotta think, the dragon's getting stronger and stronger as we go. He's attacking faster, so he's dealing more damage, and he's getting more damage. Plus the percentage boosts that we already have. So he's getting more than 8% more damage. So what we want to do every time we enter a boss fight is get rid of the horde. The horde is the biggest problem. Here, we got summon mastery. Always, I want to say this, I want to say this so hard. Always pick up master, uh, your, your synergies. Because it might never give it to you again. And this is insane. 35% damage, 35% attack speed. That's just crazy. I said I wasn't going to get synergies, but like... I, I really don't mind <laughs> at this point. I'm like, it, it it just feels so one that I just want it to be over with faster, I guess. Like, I know that it's survival and we have to wait the five minutes no matter what, uh, but we're pretty much done. We're pretty much done. We won. We survived one of the hordes. We tried to get in one of the zones instead of staying in a safe zone, um, which was just my bad, but... Other than that, we're doing perfectly fine. Now, getting rid of the adds is always what you want to be doing in boss fights. You want to create a zone that you're safe in, right here, we're safe, and now you start laying the waste. And as you can see, the fire, it just does so much damage. We're not even doing anything but aiming at it. And that's one thing. I thought that the fire originally, I thought the dragon required you to, uh, oh, here's where we, here's where we get like, oh, what are you going to take though? Uh, we're going to take Tome of Rage even though it gives us three ammo, uh, so like two more bullets, <laughs> it gives us more fire rate and it gives us more um, more range that our attacks are hitting because of that spread, um, which I think is good. Uh, our damage doesn't matter, our knockback doesn't matter. We're using this for procking. So having it have a larger range that it is doing work in is good for us, in my honest opinion. It is good for us that it is having a giant range in which it is doing things. Alright, so we already got our next upgrade. Honestly, gonna go for the fire boots, probably? No, 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 we're gonna go for magnet so we can get our upgrades faster. Believe it or not, pickup range is, is pretty good. It seems like a troll, but it's not. And even though we're not even attacking the, uh, the elite right now, he's taking tons of damage because he's freezing over and over again losing 1% HP because he's an elite or boss um, over and over again and he's just he's getting shredded all right so here we finally got sight magic this is insane this is so good we need this uh, sight magic is so broken and you know whenever we get a chance where we're not feeling too swarmed uh, because the, like this the, these last four minutes are the serious swarm uh, whenever now we're not feeling swarmed we want to just start laying into this elite we don't want to run away from the elite because the more you run away in this game the harder it is to get back to where you were uh, because you got all these guys sitting around you this this is a good upgrade honestly good upgrade uh better than glare doubled in my opinion because we're shooting all of our shots so often so we just want to get all those bullets to get all those procs i mean look at this so many procs and notice we haven't even gotten snap freeze yet i don't know what it's actually called um I, that this doesn't matter. This literally does not matter for me. We're not going to be able to uh, to lose to get the <laughs> the upgrade we just got to be able to use. Okay, shatter is what it's called. So shatter, ready for the difference? Shatter makes a, a world of difference. It went from we're kind of getting a little swarmed to I'm pushing down. I'm pushing the storm to them. <laughs> They're getting obliterated. And our dragon has turned into a flamethrower, like literally. Okay, we got Pyromage, so now we inflict flame to things around us in our vision range, um, which is good. And now we're basically just in, see how high of a level we can possibly get before the end. Um, if when I have a full auto gun, that's not like this annoying thing, I usually just sit in one spot and start shooting in circles, because it's fun. We're gonna get this upgrade just so that we shoot even more projectiles, get even more status effects going. We're, we're not even going for damage anymore. We're doing, like, no damage. We don't even care. All we're doing is status effects and dragon. 
I have yet to try a run where I do nothing but heavy damage, heavy hitting damage, because this is just too strong. This is just too OP. Uh, let's get our first level in Electromage, as an Electromage, because <laughs> uh, we're actually starting to shoot a whole bunch. And like the, the screen is nothing but lightning. The screen is nothing but lightning and ice shattering. And that's what it's supposed to be. This is just so, so strong. I, I don't know if it's what it's supposed to be, but this is what it is. This is how the game works. If people are having trouble in their runs, all you need to do is this. Obviously, we've passed the 20 minute mark, but I could literally just stand here and do this. Spam click. And we can't die. All we gotta do is dodge, okay? Don't get hit, forehead. Dodge the few bullets that come at us, and we're fine. Okay, we're maybe not entirely fine just because this gun is <laughs> is a little difficult to wield. But okay, increase our burst dam our burn damage, or we could increase our vision pickup range. Uh, I'm gonna increase burn damage though, because I want to get the fireballs so that I get the other synergy. I've noticed how good synergies are. Once you figure out like exactly what you need for the synergies, it gets really OP. Um, but now that we've killed a few things around us, we go around in a circle. We, may, we we've sat in the middle of the donut. Now we go around the edges of the donut. We pick up all that XP. We get all these levels. We don't even have 40% XP boost, by the way. Which I think is just a Shauna thing still, but just saying. We don't have 40% XP boost. If we were Shauna, we could be doing 40% more powerful here. We also only have an 8% XP boost from our uh, from our runes. We could have even more. Uh, but we just didn't bother getting the upgrades yet, because I wanted to make the video now, when it's like, I'm not- I don't have maxed out runes. And I'm overpowered. I don't even have to be trying. There was a tree there. It's not there anymore. Okay, so we got Frostfire, which isn't what we really wanted. Um, so we're not even going to go for it. Because the chances of there being... Uh, we just ran into that. That's fine. Who cares? We still have 3 HP. Um, the chances of us freezing someone and them not being on fire with a flamethrower is just... It's just too low. Like, it doesn't even matter at that point. We're also killing everything so fast that it doesn't even really matter. Like, the only things we're not killing are the things that our bullets aren't hitting and causing ice. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. There we go, we won. Just like that. Didn't even have to do a second take. We won. And we earned 1400. No idea what this is. It's not an item count because we have 8 items per row, I think. I guess we have 8 items. 16, 24... 32, 43. We have 43 items. That's not 37. No idea. But there we go. We got 1,400. And now, after this run... By the way, that was an ascension. We ascended. We hit ascension 8 now, and at least move faster. Okay? So now, we could just upgrade things. So, oh, I want to get more XP. So I had 3, not, not 2. So now we have 16% more XP. Just saying. 16% more XP, just like that. And I just, like... It was simple. It's simple. The game is a little broken right now, I just want to say. A little bit broken. And you can just go with the most OP strat, which is either going with the revolver or the duelies. And you're just going to shred. Obviously, I've had a variety of different runs on everything. I like that it shows uh, which ascension was the highest that you've completed on. So these I both did on zero. Um, this I did on 6, this I just did on 7, I've done this on 4, I've done this on 5, I did this on 2. So like, it shows which weapons you've been trying out. I haven't killed, I haven't defeated Ascension on any of these guys yet, because I haven't even bothered. Like, more HP starting? Eh. Compared to 2 sets of upgrades per level, that's busted. Um, fire damage that does 3 damage per second? Eh. We already have infinite piercing. Um, ooh. We could get a shadow clone that does damage. That'd be so good. I used that literally only for the achievement of pacifist. <laughs> Bullets have a 50% chance to call down lightning. It's cool, but also who really cares? Um, when you're comparing it to your dragon, you're more likely to get dragon earlier. It's like, it, I don't know. A little bit of a complaint video, a little bit of like how to win, but like, the game, I'm excited to see where it goes. The crossbow was garbage, and now it's actually really cool. It's a cool weapon. It's a unique weapon, and that's what I like about it.
but I'd love to see where this game goes and how it can improve because right now it's it's fairly just press press one button to win. Ooh, dragon, I won. Easy in the in the bag. All I have to do is not be an idiot for the first five minutes, and then we steamroll through the rest. And it's not even a challenge. Obviously, when we get to Elite 15, like it might be a bit harder, or Darkness 15 might be a bit harder, but like, all it's doing is basically making it so that you have to try a little bit harder. And the Elites don't even move that fast. They might move as fast as like you do at the beginning now with, with number 8, but who knows? Like, yeah. So there's my little video. I will make totally. I'm going to make Ascension for every single one of these characters just because, and different guns, just to be like, ooh, this is fun. Um, I would definitely stream this game, but yeah. It's Saturday, so I can't really start doing that yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's this. And this is definitely a game that I could make content without talking. You don't even have to talk. You just do runs. You're like, ooh, a run. That's cool. This guy did that in a run. That's so cool. I see his new perspective and his movement strats. Those are cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. A little bit of a rant, a little bit of like, th there's a one way to win a little bit. Um, obviously with crossbow it and, and grenade launcher, those are the two guns that have the, oh, what if you went with bullet damage? Um, but other than that, it's just status effect plus, uh, plus dragon. You don't even need the other summons. The other summons just make dragon better. Dagger makes dragon 40% better. And Ghosty Boy makes dragon, I think, something like 70% better on damage and attack speed combined. Or more than 70% with attack speed. But it's insane. Like, it's just, ooh, make dragon better. So yeah, a little bit of a rant. See you guys in the next video.